Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Smeargle Fire Red. So, we're in Cerulean City, and, um... Wondering now... Can I fight my rival right away? Let's see, I got... One rare candy there. I think I should just fight the gym trainers first. I don't think... I'm not gonna beat Misty, that's for sure, but... His Pidgeotto can probably mess me up. Because I know it's got Sand Attack and Quick Attack. Even if I paralyze it, Thundershock is not going to do a whole lot to it. People really overestimate how much super effective damage helps these Smeargles. I mean, it does help, but... Still going to take like 8 hits to bring down a Pidgeotto. Let's see now. Come on, Violet. Stun this horsey. This ain't helping either, but I got it. Of course, he is paralyzed, maybe I'm able to move. Okay, now that I'm paralyzed, um... Send in Moomin, use Metal Sound. We need to set up with three Smeargles in order to kill anything. Moomin's about to level up as well. Bang those pots and pans. Be adorable. Go ahead, leer me. See special defense harshly fell. Okay, I'm gonna go one more just for the just for the full blast. The full pots and pans. The Moomin special as it's called. Now we switch into Mr. Soul. Absorb can also work, but absorb's weaker. And orange is already high level. And I got smoke screened. Let's see how much three metal sounds let this go to. There we go. There we go. That would have done nothing if I didn't set up like that. Oh. Well, I didn't gain nothing. Uh. Shelter. Just send it in. Send it in. It's shelter. It does not have special defense. But I don't have accuracy. How much this does? Okay, okay. That's better. Th that's pretty decent. Considering Shelter can cannot take any special damage, but Jesus, not even halfway. Nice little spear. That would have been. Nobody can sketch right now, right? Nope. And no one's getting another sketch to level 21, so that's out of the question. Let it go and move on. Alright, alright. That's a lot of experience. And nothing to attack. That's alright, you didn't need that. That can't be! Alright. Fight this girl here, but who's close to leveling up? Who's close to leveling up here? Bodefi. So let's get you up front. What? You? I'm more than enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Will she now? She just got the Goldeen. Oh, level 19. Dang it. Really putting into perspective just how weak my, uh, no, oh, the, sc the Screech can't even hit them. God dang it. Uh... Let's see, send in Stanley. Wish that Screech would've hit. Oh boy, Taylor's not gonna help. Really underleveled. Get the poison. Alright. No, you're not getting the poison. Just go for Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang, man. Bite down on that fish. Oh my god, that did nothing. <laughs> nothing! <laughs> and I'm gone. 
All right, Moomin. Give him the pots and pans. You're gonna get destroyed, Moomin, so just bang those pots and pans and we'll see if Mr. Soul can do anything. Get Bo Deffy that level up. Water sport. Fire's power was weakened. I sh I've already used that enough times. I should have just switched at this point. Yep, that was a waste. Yeah, oh, please don't get hit, Mr. Soul. Ah, there's a horn attack. Oh, it's faster than me. That's good. Well, it's a little higher level, but it's only a fish. Come on now. All right. Still even, couldn't even kill it. And there you go. All right. Um, let Moomin finish it after all, because Moomin is low level. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's send in Orange now. Now you're suddenly using Horn to Horn Attack, man. We weren't doing anything before. Just wanted, I just wanted the lower level Smeargles to get experience, but you won't let this happen. Okay, Bodefi leveled up. Oh, neither attacks that one up. You overwhelmed me. Okay. Now what am I gonna do about that Pidgeotto? That Pidgeotto is gonna be a problem. I'm st My levels are kinda low enough. I don't wanna waste enough. I wanna save the rare candies for when I'm close to getting an another sketch. That's what those, those things should be saved for, but uh... Hmm. Beating up wild Pokemon for a moment won't be a bad idea. It's kind of annoying because I have to beat the rival to get to the route to the north, and that's where all the weak trainers are, are behind him. But his Pidgeotto is going to mess me up. That and his Rattata, Rattata are proving to be a dang problem as well. Just look at this one. Okay. What? Yeah. I'm sorry, what, what is Screech's accuracy again? It's the second time in a row. 85. Of course, of course. 85. Makes perfect sense for it to miss so much. So even if I paralyze that Pidgeotto, it can still it can still hit me with Quick Attack priority if it doesn't get, get paralyzed that turn. And Sand Attack will mess up my accuracy even more. Because apparently 95 isn't high enough. And no, I'm never going to let that go because it's uh, it's unjust that it keeps happening. The snake. I don't have any super effective moves for the snake, do I? You know I should be doing? Screech? Then switch into somebody else to take it down. Like Stan Lee can hyperfang these snakes. Man, biting into a snake does not sound like a very pleasant thing. Oh, why did I why did I put that in my in my mind? I have a weird feeling in my mouth and teeth now. Jesus. Alright, defenses harshly fell. Yeah, Stanley. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't believe I'm I'm, I'm already gonna <laughs> grind like this now. And there you go, there you go. You get your poison right away. Takes Stan an eternity to do it though. Hyper Fang, bite the snake. Kill it one hit. There you go. Three screeches guarantees. And I did not get a whole lot from that. Alright. Maybe it's just time to bite the bullet. Get in there and fight. 
Fighting Misty. Misty, Misty's Starmie has Water Pulse. That would, getting stabbed from that would absolutely destroy my puppers. Especially at her level. Oh yeah, there's no way. That's definitely a wait, wait until later thing. Pidgeotto is the main problem, and then there's the starter Pokemon. Okay. Let's start with Moomin. Because Stun Spore isn't, isn't really going to help using Violet Stun Spore. I should save that, honestly, for, like, War Turtle. Because Violet's going to get knocked out if he's just trying to do that. Use Moomin, then switch into Mr. Soul. Let's do it. Yo, Asprey, you're still struggling along back there. I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you've caught. Go ahead. Level 17, okay. Higher than me, basically. That's right. Immediately get stand attack on me right away. That's the problem. But it hits. Greedy and go for another one. Look at that. Look, oh, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Look at that. Cannot take more than two of those. Okay. Now... I need to throw one somebody to the fire, unfortunately. Someone's gonna faint. Ooh, gust. Right, you get stabbed from that as well, don't you? See if I can get a poison stick. Ah, oh, yeah, no, no. That's why switching in is dangerous. Now we can safely send in Mr. Soul and try and use Thundershock. I got two... Two metal sounds on him. And it didn't even take him down to half. I told you, this Pidgeotto, man. It's a monster. Okay, good, I didn't miss. Okay, I'm getting- I feel like I'm getting lucky right here. This could be going way worse. Luckily, Mr. Soul seems to be able to take some gusts. Because the level there. All right, all right. That could have gone so much worse. So much worse. I'm, it's a good thing I took some time to level up. Maybe help me a bit. Probably didn't play much of a part. Who we kidding? Okay, the rat. The rat is coming in. Um. We'll have a, we'll rat his ratata also have also have the quick attack. Save Stun Spore, because if I if I send Violet out to use Sun Stun Spore, then Violet's probably gonna get killed by whatever I'm trying to use it on. Dang it. Screech missed again. That's three this episode. 85% accuracy, ladies and gentlemen. Getting Metal Sound and Screech was a good idea, but dang it. There's so few moves on each Smeargle right now that I'm basically... Everyone only has just one roll, essentially. Hit him with two. Yeah, there's Quick Attack. Oh! That wasn't a critical hit! Oh, but that was. That was! <laughs> Jesus, those tail whips really ruined me. Bodefi is the miracle kid right now. Squirtle! Isn't he supposed to have... No, 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 what am I thinking? No, that's the next battle they have, the second starter. Why did I think he, why did I think they were supposed to have War Turtle, Ivysaur, or Charmeleon here? I guess I'm just a fake fan, everybody. All right, now send in. Now I want that paralysis. The Abra, I do not need to worry about. It only knows teleport. The Abra is a joke in free EXP. And it missed. Take a drink, everybody. Okay. Let's see here. Level 18. I'm gonna try and send in... Uh, Bodefi's at one health. Mr. Moomin's down. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send in Moomin. I'm gonna use Metal Sound. Then I'm gonna send in Orange to use Absorb. The Paralysis will help keep, a, keep him off of me while I restore my health. And I can outlast him, I hope. Because his defenses are going up. I can't... There's no point in risking Bodefi to use Screech. Special Defense harshly fell. Water gun. All right, this is probably it, Moomin. Your pans are washed. Do it. Play him the sound of the Moomin Valley. There you go. You're down. 
You, you did well. Everybody's gonna take one for the team. Or in this case, everybody's gotta take at least eight for the team. Don't worry, when we get further, I swear there will be like a little less deaths every time. Also, that was two metal sounds I got on him, right? It is only Absorb. Absorb does not have a lot of power. Come on, Orange, you can do this. You got a girl. Yeah, this is exactly what we saved it. Because if I had used Stun Spore on Rattata or Pidgeotto, I could easily, if the Paralysis doesn't activate, I could easily just get Quick Attacked. While also trying to attack them as well, of course, and that would mess everything up. Like, these Smeargles are so fragile. Like, it probably looks like I'm over... over analyzing what I'm supposed to be doing here, but Jesus. There could be a lot more Smeargles dead right now. Like, half the party's pretty much dead. Orange. There you go, there you go. Okay, now we got Abra. So, who's the lowest level? Who's the lowest level? Violet and Bodefi. Violet's only really been able to stun people, so let's just sit, let Violet use Tackle, honestly. Alright, alright. We can relax. We can relax, it's just Abra. Kinda always weird that they just put Abra on, like... Oh, pardon me, a hiccup. Oh, dang it, why do I always get the hiccups when I'm recording? That's the literal worst possible time I could have the hiccups. Oh, Jesus, let me get it. Let me just down some of my drink here. There you go, girl. Oh, there you don't go, girl. Rival Trevor defeated. Hey, take it easy. You won already. He said that when he sent out the Abra. And guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world for me, famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the storage system, too. Since you're using the system, you should thank him. Why am I reading this? Absolutely nobody at this point cares. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present. Fame checker. Chatty gossip like you. That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right, this time I really am going. Smell ya. Whatever, buddy. Whatever. All right. So anyways, one of the things I haven't been talking about, um, I got my internet fixed. I was talking about that a lot last episode. It was a really ridiculous situation with, like, a problem, a problem with the building. Like, I couldn't really use my internet well. I couldn't upload for a while. But luckily, that's, that's just been resolved. And, um, I also, f the other, just the other day, I finished editing and uploaded that, uh, Caterpie Softlock video. Let's go ahead and fight these guys. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat, yeah, beat us up. Because we suck. Why did they put a bridge on land, you may ask? Who knows? But Catcher K would like to fight. Okay. It's only Caterpie now. And believe me, I know a thing or two about Caterpie. And it's not going to survive even a Smeargle fight. But anyway, that... Uh, sp anyways, yeah, speaking of Caterpie, that video's been doing real, really, really well. Like... Sorry, the date, the episode, but at the time of recording this, I uploaded it yesterday. And overnight, it's gotten over 300,000. And it's still, it's still growing, like, exponentially right now. It was even, and apparently even got on the trending section. You know, that thing I never look at, but apparently is meaningful when your video gets there. So I guess that's pretty cool. Not, not, not trying to flex, but, you know, I'm just, j just saying. Just saying, yo. I don't have an ego. Anyways, Weedle, just keep smacking yourself into it. Just don't tackle the... Tackle its head. That'd be bad. Weedle always looks like his nose is a mouth, and that little... And the, and the highlight on its mouth is a tooth. And now it's gone, so you have to go back to look at it. There's Metapod. Um... I think I'll, I'll just use Metal Sound and switch into Mr. Soul again. It's probably the smartest option because of, uh... Oh, there we go. Another 85% uh, miss. I swear. I swear, man. I swear. But anyways, 
Since my internet's fixed, I'm also gonna be uh, doing some streaming this weekend, finally again. Man, I could, I put off Hollow Knight and Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, for a while. I really wanted to play more of those, but they're stream series. I can only continue them as a stream, but I couldn't stream. What's even crazier is that since the last time I streamed Friends of Mineral Town, a remake got announced for Switch. So, oh, that is like the perfect place and opportunity to just talk about that with everybody. I'm so excited for it, but I can't stream. Well, I can stream now, but best time for me to stream is, is uh, Saturday and Sunday. We're gonna have fun during that. Ignore that message in the future. Just take it down, Mr. Soul, you know what to do. Electro shock that metapod. Ugh. But yeah, I also want to get back to doing some. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and moom in this again. That'll sound it. I also want to get back to recording some other things. Like uh, I couldn't, I couldn't really record more Assassin's Creed Revelations because of the internet issue. Because the last episode of that I uploaded, it it got copyright claimed twice, and I I had to upload it, re-upload it a third time before it would, uh, not get claimed. So, and because my internet was so crappy for the last week, I didn't want to just spend, like, two days uploading a single episode only to get another freaking copyright claim. That wouldn't have been fun. So, yeah, I kind of just, I kind of just put off Assassin's Creed for a little bit as well. I also want to get a chance to do some Mario Maker again, too. That Those have been some really fun episodes. I'm glad the, uh... The Switch capture has been working out well. Hopefully I can do some other other Switch games. Like, um... Some other things I've been thinking about doing. I don't know if, like, the, if the capture would work well for, like, games with a lot of fast-moving action, though. Like, I was thinking of doing, like, the Azure Striker Gunbolt Collection. I got that on Switch, and I want... I want an excuse to play those games again. Well, really, I haven't actually played the second one, but I really love the first one. Ooh, good stuff. Let's see now... Stan Lee, your lowest level. You know what? No, we'll put Bodefi up front. We'll use Screech, then we'll switch into Stan and his magical Hyper Fang. I'm second. Now it's serious. Last Alley. Okay, it's not that. The last I was thinking of. Screech it, Bodefi. When Bodefi screeches, do you think he just shouts his name really loudly? to annoy the opponent? I don't know. But I know I'm getting sand attacked. I'm gonna try one more. Yeah, okay, that was a mistake. Okay, this Pidgey really, really wants to kick sand in my face. Feels very malicious at that point. Come on, Stan, you're the man. You know, in comic books, it's always... Your superpowers always come from getting bitten by a radioactive something. But what happens when you get bit, bit by a radioactive Smeargle? Do you gain artistic talent? Do you become Smeargle Man? Or maybe you just get rabies because the puppy hasn't had its shots. I don't know. These questions and more probably won't be answered. I'll contact the Pokemon company about it. I'm sure they'll get back to me. Um, It's only Oddish. I'll just keep using Hyper Fang. I want to get Stan up there. I can switch if things go sour. Oh, God. You know what? Using Hyper Fang... Biting into an Oddish reminds me of that thing from uh, Hey You Pikachu, where you could get Pikachu to pick up an Oddish, and he'll just eat the thing in front of you. That's one of the most disturbing things in Pokemon, I tell you. I tell you. Hey, Pikachu, look at that Osh. God, the sound he makes when he does that. So freaky. Alright. You know, that's a game I haven't thought about in a long time. Hey, you, Pikachu. I think a couple of people have asked me to, like, record, record it sometime, but, like... I can't, how, I don't want to even do that. Like, I technically have the cartridge, but, God, we lost that, we lost the N64 microphone a long time ago. I think I'll just keep spamming Hyper Fang here. 
I wonder, do people do people have that game working as on like uh on like emulator or something? I know that I know that it wasn't released in Europe because like uh anything that involves like voice controls, like it never usually gets there's always problems releasing in, releasing it in Europe because of all the different accents. It just can't it just can't read read stuff properly. It's just too much work. How could I lose? I'm gonna think. I wonder if anyone's. I wonder if there's anyone that speed runs. Hey, you Pikachu. I'm gonna go back and heal. Cause people speed run crazy, crazy things. Would that even be an interesting speed run? What would the tricks be? If you say certain swear words, do they happen to work better than saying what you're supposed to? Is it like rigging the vo the voice? How the voice. Uh, how the thing recognizes certain words, do you, can you just say different words for as optimal strategies? I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but now I'm curious. Can you beat, can you beat, hey you Pikachu, only saying struggle into the mic? Oh God, what have I done? Why did I suggest that? Well, joke's on all of you. I don't have it, I don't have the microphone. I can't play the game. That won't be happening anytime soon. Oh god, the meme potential of a game like that. Such a- oh, I didn't go over the screech, what an idiot. He's throwing sand at me anyway. Um, I think I'll just switch into orange here. Use Absorb. This is exactly what I got Absorb for. Geodudes and Shrews. You know, I do know that there's apparently a person who beat Dark Souls using only voice controls, apparently. I don't... I don't know how that works, but I'm, you know, good on him, I guess. I mean, I can't... I can't say that's a waste of time when you look at half... more than half of what my videos are. You think what, what I'm doing right now is productive? Think again. Alright, the shrew is almost down. I don't know why, but calling Sand Shrew the Shrew just makes him sound more adorable and more threatening at the same time. Also, a lowland Sand Shrew is adorable, and I want to head pad it. There you go. Okay, we're getting level ups. Ekans. Ekans. Um. Send in Bodefi again. Use Screech. Then I'll switch into, like, Stan or something. Is Bodefi... Yeah, Bodefi le just leveled up a bit a while ago. Intimidate. Yeah, we definitely want to switch because of that. I didn't even consider it for a second. And there's another 85% miss. And watch him get poisoned first try. Oh, no. Speak too soon. For once, I'm glad to be incorrect. Keep going. Snakes react violently to sound. And there it is. He got it when I didn't mention it. Alright. Time to send in Stan. Whenever I send in Stan Lee, I just imagine this like a comic book scene. With Stan, with like actual Stan Lee, like narrating it. I, I can't, I don't, I, I keep thinking I want to do a Stan Lee impression to make a joke, but I can't. I, I can't I can't do Stan Lee's voice. It just, it's, it's so it's so distinct, because it's just his voice. Like, he's not doing, like, do, putting on any fancy eff effects to make himself sound like a cartoon character. The man just has a very distinct voice and, like, talks, like, he talks like an old fella. Like the lovable grandpa. And I just, ah, oh, I can't, I can't even attempt to recreate it. I just sound weird. Even though everyone tells me I do good voices. Alright. So let's see what we got here. Lowest level. Stan Lee and Moomin. Just throw Stan Lee up front. And Hyper Fang, whatever's next. Two, three. Is Last Rally next? She is. Okay. So I'm going to do a little foreshadowing here. Um, you see this girl right here? 
keep her in mind. You might see her again one day. I'm number four, getting tired. And uh, that that's all I'm gonna say about this girl. Last Relly, that's her name, right. But anyways, forget about that. Anyways, back to biting things with good man Stan. And you bit the poison thing. What did I expect to happen? Bite more, Stan. Take her down. Bitten. All right, now get that level 14. Show me that attack increase. Show me that attack. Oh, that's uh, it's something. No matter how many times I see the level up screen, I'm gonna switch out, but I want the experience to stand still. I'm gonna get poisoned anyway in the next Pokemon. I'm just gonna go for another Hyper Fang or two. Double kick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's not good. You figured the male one would have had it. All right. Well, they're all gonna be weak to double kick. Um. Just go for the quick kill, I guess, with Mr. Soul. Thundershock's probably the most damaging thing I can do right now. Well, Hyper Fang technically is, actually, but... Yeah. Yeah, who am I, what am I thinking? Hyper Fang gets stabbed. It's just, even my best attacks aren't exactly the strongest. Oh god, the hiccups are back again. Water bolt. God, oh, I feel like I was gonna, I'm gonna hiccup, hiccup and burp at the same time because of that. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I got this, I got that. Not bad. And Mr. Soul got the level up. Show me that soul power. Never gonna get anything. Why do I get my hopes up every time I level up and I'm disappointed without fail? I lost two. All right, last rally, that's your moment for now. We'll meet again someday. There we go. Luckily it's not far to get back there. There's so many trainers on the route to the north. Should I skip some of them for a bit at this point? Maybe some of them I could leave for getting moves from Sketch later? I still gotta get through the rest of the bridge. All right, what do we got here? Stan Lee's that level. Moomin's the, Moomin's the next one that needs to level up. Gotta keep everyone around good. Don't want anyone lagging behind. No Smeargle left behind. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. No, you won't. What's your name? Camper Ethan? Maybe we'll see you again one day, too, Mr. Camper Ethan. For, oh, wait a second. That's a fighting type. That ain't good. That's very bad. Very, very, very bad. I should have just switched. Well, goodbye, entire team. It was nice knowing you. I'm gonna have to go for stun spore. Karate chop, too, that's cool. And, oh boy. Oh boy, we have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. There is a pu there is a manky on the loose and he is attacking the local puppers. He must be restrained. Oh boy. So this is how it ends. I'm not even- Okay, he went for the leer. I need that paralysis or a critical hit. Come on, Mr. Soul. Oh, we're not winning. Okay, Fury Swipes missed. He decided not to use super effective moves for some reason. He's toying with me now. He's toying with me. That's what's going on. He's playing with his food. It's all part of the taunt. Come on, Mr. Soul. Give him the crit. No, oh, that's not a crit. 
There, yeah, he's he was toying with me. Toying with me. He could kill me at any moment, but he didn't. Okay, Stan, you're up. Mankey's got vital spirit, so poison would still work, but honestly, I'm better I'm better off hoping for a hyper fang critical hit. This Mankey is the puppy slayer. This guy wasn't joking when he said he was gonna stomp me. Come on, Stan. Oh. Oh, oh. Don't kick this old man down. Oh, we got him. God, I only won that. I only won that because he was dumb. All he had to do was use the same move. Whoa, too much. He got cocky, that's all that happened. I don't feel like I won that. I feel like he let me win that. I didn't know play him. He just decided to be stupid. Well, let's try this again. Thank you for waiting, restore to Pokemon to full health. All right, team. Because I'm still on the bridge, there's no reason to really just use items just yet up there to heal. But God, every time I get to this route, I'm always just re realize just how padded out it is. There's so many trainers here. All right, Moomin, you're close to leveling up. We can switch you out, but uh, everybody's doing all right. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. Get a nugget. How would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? No. I need to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. You know, if they really wanted to recruit people, they should be sending out the female Rocket Grunts because they are adorable. And they will easily convince a weeb like me to turn to evil. Is it this game they have the pink hair or do they have they have like the green hair in this one? In Heart Gold Soul Silver, the grunts have pink hair. Go metal sound here, switching to Mr. Soul. And it missed. I also like the look of I also like that orange short hair they have going on in Let's Go. Christian likes Team Rocket Grunts. Exposed. Or better yet, we can title this fact as Christian has common sense and taste buds. Uh-oh, now I can't switch. How did I forget Ekans has rap? Probably because I haven't been hit by it for this entire episode until now. Alright, Moomin. Just use Metal Sound. Bang those pots and pans. You're probably not going to level up again. I'm sorry, friend. Ugh. Uh, I can't. I'm, I'm. I'm still stuck on the wrap. I can't do anything. I'm sorry, Moomin. I need to grab. My, I need to grab. Hang on. While Moomin dies in front of me, I'm grabbing my Moomin pillow to hug as an, as an apology. I just let me reach it. Yeah. Okay. I got. I got my Moomin pillow. I'm sorry, pal. God, it is too hot in this room to be hugging a pillow. For those unaware, I have a Moomin Troll pillow that my friend Trevor bought me for Christmas. And it's small, adorable, and I love hugging it when I feel sad. Ugh, that's right, I'm not afraid to show my sensitive side. Hashtag humble God, that's not kind of douchey when I put it that way, didn't it? Ugh. Mr. Soul, come on. Take it down. Man, I love summer. Well, let me tell ya. Let me just uh, use Thundershock to finish off the Zubat. Get over with. Only thing that sucks about summer for me since I started doing YouTube. Oh wow, that did nothing. Own tempo prevents confusion. Wait, what? Well, I know that, but I thought he wouldn't use Supersonic because I have that ability. Why'd he bother trying to use it on me? Weird. Anyways, but yeah, because I'm recording, I have to shut the window. Otherwise, you guys would hear loud car noises going down the street all the time. Or maybe the wind or the trees rustling and all that stuff. I have to shut the window. But, yeah, which means it's it's absolutely hot in here while I'm recording. And I know, I know, I know how noise canceling works, but street noise is very inconsistent noise. 
so I can't get a pro I can never get a proper noise sample. So you're always gonna hear some of it. It's just easier for me to suck it up and take the heat. And by that, I mean bitch about it constantly as I play video games. Don't let the opportunity go to waste, he says. Listen, all I'm saying is, if it was a, if, if it was one of those cute girl rocket grunts, and they were like, here's my number, call me if you want to join Team Rocket, I'd be like, yes, let's, let's go do the evil. Let's go do the evil. Was that really the best I have? Well, I am a weeb, so that pretty much probably is. Uh, okay. You're still here? Aren't you supposed to disappear? TM45. Um, what does this guy have again? I don't remember if he has any notable Pokemon I could use to, uh... I just realized it's kind of be- it's kind of gonna be impossible for me to sketch, uh... Sketch Teleport, because they'll be gone after I use it. I could- I could have sketched it for my rival. Well, no, I couldn't have. I'd have to level up to 21. Hi, useless Caterpie. You've already had your video. Get out of mine. Why am I running into wild Pokemon? Just, I don't know, maybe giving myself a reminder? Oddish. Oddish. That's right, Fire Red. So, do you have any powder moves at this point I could take? Well, I took Stun Spore from a trainer's one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not close enough to a sketch right now anyway. Let's just fight this guy. I saw your feet from the grass. All right. <clears throat> so I find a lot of people are confused about this guy's dialogue here. Because he always says, I saw your feet from the grass. And everyone thinks it's a misspelling of the word feet. Like as in, he saw my feet. As in the things at the end of my legs from the grass, but no. He means feet as in like, fi my, as like something I've overcome. Like as in he saw me beat Nugget Bridge. I it, I don't know, no one, I, nobody, I know no one probably gonna say anything about it, but I see too many people try and argue that it's a spelling mistake. It's like, no. No, it's not. Because, because honestly it has the same, okay. Let's switch again. Uh, Stan, get in there and Hyper Fang. Because he has the same, he says the exact same thing in the uh, original games as well. I think he also says it in Let's Go as well. Hyper Fang, bop. Pow. By the way, I there's been something on my mind in regards to Sword and Shield that I've been thinking about. I'll just keep spamming Hyper Fang on this here, because he's probably gonna wrap in whatever I send in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intim- actually, if I'm intimidating, send in someone with full health, then. Uh, how about Violet? Let's send in Violet. Use Stun Spore, and then, uh, tackle it, I guess. Okay, you missed. Yeah, but I was thinking about Sword and Shield the other day, so... We all, I'm sure by now we all know the news that, like, um, they don't plan on having every single Pokemon in the game, which, yeah, that, that sucks. And it kind of, kind of, kind of is a little, little, kind of one of those traditions I didn't want to be broken, but, you know, whatever. I'm still willing to check out the games, but, um, one of the things I've been thinking about is that, like, if this is the new formula for them, where they're always going to, like, exclude some Pokemon... Like, knowing Game Freak, they're always, and I mean always, going to include the original 151, right? So that means, by extension, and we're talking about the mainline games here, not like Let's Go and stuff, not like, well, not like Let's Go Pokedex, but, um... If we're, if, we're, if we're talking about the main games, and they always have to include the original 151, that means, by extension, they'll have to include all of, uh... All of all of the evolutions related to the original Pokemon, right? So that means you got stuff like Tangrowth and Magnezone. That means Pokemon like that will always be guaranteed. Theoretically, I'm probably going to be wrong about this, and, you know, whatever. 
But that means that means Lickitung's evolution, Licky Licky, is in that list. I thought not. So that means if Game Freak does does stick to keeping Kanto and everything, that means Licky Licky is guaranteed to be in every Pokemon game for the rest of time. Every mainline game, anyway. Obviously, Licky Licky isn't in Let's Go. And for some reason, I think that's what bothers me the most. <laughs> Out of everything. What's that? You like Smeargle? No, Smeargle's not in this game. Check out Licky Licky instead. He's always gonna be here. Always. Always Licky Licky. Why do I hate Licky Licky? I don't know. I think it looks dumb, to be honest. It's one of those evolutions where it's just like, you know, I I, I don't mind Tangrowth, I don't mind Magnezone, even Probopass, you know what? That That's kind of cool. Somehow, in its own special way. But Licky Licky is just like, hey, it's Lickitung. But it looks slightly different. And you still don't want to use it. <laughs> Licky Licky. Oh, god dang it. I suppose, if I'm going by my weird logic here, I suppose that also means that, um... Also means that, uh... Every Eevee evolution will be in every game. Also, a uh, fighting type is on screen, which means we're gonna have another Moomin Massacre right here. Smeargle Massacre. Not everybody's a Moomin, Christian. Just send in Mr. Soul and go Thundershock. Somebody's gonna tank those hits. I'm gonna need to run back to Pokemon Center again, and that's okay. I don't know. It's kind of hard to talk about Sword and Shield lately, because, because I'm, I, because you know, there's some things I don't think I, I think could be better based on like uh, some of the trailer and really pre-release stuff I'm seeing. But everybody's, it's one of those things where so many people are angry about the Pokedex situation that like everybody's just either one extreme or the other. And, there, and if you don't pick what side you're on, people will pick one for you based on based on whatever opinions you express. And I don't like that very much. Like, I think it's okay to I think it's okay to have uh, higher expectations for things. But I hate how everyone has to be on. You're you're either you either worship this game or you're refusing to buy it because of because of this issue you don't like. I just. I just want the games to be fun. That's all I'm hoping for. I mean, kind of. I want I want them to be fun because I like Pokemon. Obviously, do you think I'd be playing this thing right now if I hated Pokemon? No, I wouldn't be. Also, half the team is dead. Well, more than half the team is dead. Um, Stanley, Hyperfang, maybe. Fighting types are evil. How am I gonna get past Bruno? His Machamp is going to destroy me. Yeah, uh, I. Geodude. Okay, cool. We got we got orange for this. This is what orange was made for. All right. Ugh. <clears throat> Ouch. Ooh, okay. Geodude ain't even at half health. Half health. Half health. Half health. Half health. I feel like I'm gonna bite my tongue if I say that, try and say that fast so many times. One of the things I'm also, I'm also kind of thinking about for Sword and Shield, I just know, because of how much, how much, uh, how much, uh, chat is going around about those games, you just know that somebody's immediately going to mod the rest of the Pokemon into the game when they come out, just to prove a point. Regardless of what side of the fence you are on, and, and 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 don't 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 go in the comments of this video just just to just to you know be angry no matter what you think. Let's 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 not be like that. Let's be happy like Moomins. That would make Moomins sad if you yell about things. I miss that Barry. God dang it. But I just know people will because I've there are people who have modded Breath of the Wild so that you can play as Woody from Toy Story. And that was within the first few months of Breath of the Wild coming out. I don't know why pe if if people will mod that, you I guarantee you somebody out there is already preparing to just put it put every single Pokemon in in the, in the game. 
Oh, well, we'll see how things go. People have, I think people have already modded Let's Go. I think there's already randomizers for Let's Go, if I'm not mistaken. Even, like, going as far to, like, randomize colors and everything. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, in a sense. Berry. Patch of berry. Abra. Moomin. Moomin is a friend. Don't make Moomin sad. Alright. Should I just get this other hiker out of the way? Probably. I hope he doesn't have another Machop. You're going to see Bill. First we'll battle. I think this guy has a Geodude and Onyx. I'm probably way off, but hikers only have Geodude, Onyx, or Machop. Onyx, okay. I knew there was an Onyx, at least an Onyx in here somewhere. Just use Metal Sound. Switch into Orange again. Oh, no, he binded me. He binded me. I'm waiting until I get out of this now. Onyx is not a very good Pokemon. That's why we got Steelix, man. Dang it. Always bugged me how Geodude is technically better than Onyx, but you have to wait until later in the game to get Onyx. Because, like, the way they format Brock's team is to imply that, like, oh, look, at it's Onyx. It's this cool boss Pokemon that the first gym leader has. You, can get, you can't get it until later in the game. So it must be good, right? No, then you realize it's crap. Freed from bind. Don't bind Moomin. All right, that's enough. Come back. Send in Orange. Rock throw. We're not sketching that today. All right. I almost took it down in one hit. Not today. Orange is hurt by bind. Pop. That's a lot. You're something. Is that his way of, like, uh, low-key insulting me? Like, calling me your something is gonna be like, you're, you're, you're a piece of shit, that's what you are. Youngster's up next. Local trainers come here to practice. Cerulean City says that no, there aren't enough houses to, to keep you people around. Youngster Joey! Oh, there's where he is. He got the rat. Violet. Okay. Stun Spore. And it missed. Oh boy. I'm just gonna have to Stun Spore and switch, aren't I? Yes, I will. Yes, it missed again! There you go. Paralyzed, can't move. Alright. Now who should I send in for this? Stanley is at that. Bodefi. Not Bodefi yet. Bodefi, I don't want to switch into movement in Bodefi. Guess I'll send in Stan and hyperfang him. Try and do this. And it missed. My drink is empty. I can't take a drink anymore whenever this happens. Quick attack. Oh! Half my health gone from a rat. Chomp down on that rat. Oh, there's nothing more disgusting than thinking about that. Biting down on a rat. <laughs> Sparrow. Okay, we'll send in Moomin, use Metal Sound, then we'll switch into Mr. Soul and Thundershock. Youngster Joey sent out Spiro. You're only supposed to have rats, young sir. You're Youngster Joey. Leer. Hit him with another one. Give him the pots and pans. I just love imagining a Moomin banging pots and pans aggressively. Like it's some kind of special spell that will make everything better. It's just soul. You know, me and my friend, me and my friend Trevor, we're trying to make plans to watch like the new Moomin series. There's like, there, there's like a new Moomin cartoon, and like on like British television, made for little kids. And we're just like, we want to watch the Moomins. You're decent. Yeah, after I killed him. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and run back to the Pokemon Center anyway, because why not? Just a, just a little kid show, and for some reason I just want to watch the Moomins, because they're, cause they're wholesome and fun. Oh, sounds like Dylan's home from work there. Heal me up, go to Pokemon Center. Alright, thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Those guys moved in synch in ugh, synchronized movement there. Alright. We're doing good. Doing good. Everybody's getting leveled up. You know what? I think I should make a save in case I, uh... In case a crash or something happens. Hasn't really happened yet during a Pokemon playthrough, but I'm always paranoid. I don't want a crash to happen and be like, Oh, there goes an hour of my life. Dad took me to a great party in the SSA in Vermilion City. Dylan's probably gonna be doing a stream himself tonight. Youngster Dan. I know I know Dylan's been doing like what what I think like Pokemon Blue Kaizo or something. One of those crazy rage ROM hacks. Man. I really want to check out some of those difficulty hacks myself sometime. Maybe that would be worth like a yellow channel video at some point. Just like talking about dip, so a couple of different ROM hacks and how they adjust difficulty, because I really, I, I've always been kind of fascinated by that stuff. I've talked about it before. Probably because I'm sick of the ROM hacks that are just like, <laughs> look at this wacky story. Look at this wacky level 100 Pokemon you gotta beat. Be like, okay, uh, I'll just send a Mr. Soul now. People tell me all the time they love my Snake Wood series, and I'm just like, how? Like, <laughs> is that so weird to me? Because Snake, my Snake Wood playthrough was recorded at a time when I had no viewers. Absolutely no viewers at all. And I was just so... I was just, like, so bitchy about everything, because I didn't think anyone was going to be watching. <laughs> but people do watch. And they're like, haha, it's so funny. Look at the funny man get angry at video game. Now I'm now I'm somewhat more con I try to be more conscious about that stuff, because I don't want to look like a freaking idiot in front of uh in front of a bunch of people. Thunder shock him down. Oh you slow poke is down, good. Alright, Youngster Dan defeated. I'm not mad. On the SSN, I saw trainers from around the world. But they all mysteriously had Kanto Pokemon. I do have potions, don't I? Only two. I thought I bought more of this stuff. Guess I didn't. Oh well. This is more than enough. I can make. I, I'm, I'm fine. Moomin. Do your thing, Moomin. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Well, good for you. Is your entire personality just that you think your boyfriend is cool? Because I think you could be some, I think there could be more to your personality than that, ma'am. Go ahead and stun Violet. Paralyzed, I can't move. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I think I'll send in Bodefi and just use Screech and Tackle here. Paralyzed, can't move. Da 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 Defense harshly fell. Bodefi use Tackle. And there's the Poison Point. <laughs> I keep forgetting what the odds of Poison Point are. I never remember. Never. Come on, just take it down. I know I got antidotes. Well, actually, I don't have any more potions, so... Probably will just go back and heal and just buy a couple... So um, a handful of super potions wouldn't be a bad idea. Nidoran. Okay. If Bodefi's gonna go down, I may as well just spam Screech and send out someone else. I wonder if these were... If these Smeargles were real... How sad would it be that I have... That I knowingly let them... Letting them get knocked out... Uh oh, double kick. Double kick. Forgot. 
Oh, right. I got one Screech on you, didn't I? Send in Violet or Moomin. Um... Well, Double Kick's gonna mess anybody up, so I think just go for Stanley's Hyper Fang. Ah, net missed. You know, now I'm thinking about it. What kind of what kind of animal is that? Are the Nidorans based on? I'm only just now thinking about this. What are they supposed to be? Some kind of rat? I don't know. They're poisonous rats. And they become ground type for some reason when they fully evolve. Pow. Level 16. Alright, we got another level up. My conditioning isn't the best. Conditioning? From who? Your boyfriend? I wish my boyfriend was as good as you. Alright. I'm gonna go back and heal and buy super potions now. I thought for some reason I had more healing items on me. No point curing the poison. Bump. Blah, 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 blah. Heal me up, Joy. Or as your canon name in the video game universe is, Pokemon Center Lady. That slow bro just won't move out of the way for some reason. Can I buy, okay, I can buy super potions. All right, uh, 7,000. Should spend my money before I lose it all, basically. Buy seven. And a couple of regular potions in case that's overkill. Hell. Um. Oh, by the way, where are my Pokeballs at? I just wanted to check, because I always want to have a Pokeball on me in case I find another shiny. Just spend all my money on potions. I already have antidotes and paralyze heals. If I do run into a shiny, I'll just use another use a safe state or something as an emergency. Even though I can't use it in this playthrough. It may happen. It may happen. It could happen. When you least expect it. Alright, Hiker is next, so let's see. Put Moomin up front so I can switch into Orange and use Absorb. And if it has him, he has a Machop, that's it. I'm off to see a Pokemaniacs collection. When you see a Machop, you know that there's gonna be a bad, bad time for Smeargles. Knob. Geodude, okay. All right, metal sound. Bang them pots and pans. Play them like a drum set. Uh, I think going for more than one is a little overkill. It is absorb. Four times weakness on you, buddy. And when he sends out another Geodude, I'll, use, I'll send in Moomin again. Well, metal sound taking down the half health. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Pretty good. Because I'm a higher level than you this time. Opportunity for orange to grow here. The orange grows. More powerful by the day. No level up. Machop. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Um. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I think I'm gonna go for the stun spore. Okay, it's only level 13 this time. The levels are a little lower because he has four Pokemon. Paralyzed can't move, okay. Um, I'm gonna send in Bodefi now. So everybody gets switched around. Okay, still got Paralyzed. We got Screech. Because nothing I do to him without lowering his stats is going to do very much. All right, here it comes. All it took was one hit, but he's paralyzed, and now we got a screech on him. Um, uh, Violet again. I think I'll just send in Stanley. Go for the Hyper Fang, because Machop needs to go down. It's not about who gets the experience. It's about getting him out of the way, and Hyper Fang missed again. Like, 
Every once in a while in this playthrough, we just see a Pokemon like Machop. They're basically a raid boss. Everybody's got to chip in. But only one gets the reward. The survivor. All right, we got lucky that time. Violet leveled up, that's good. All right, all right, that's good stat. Increase. Geodude again, okay. Where is Moomin? Moomin's there. All right, now we're gonna use Metal Sound again. We're gonna switch in orange. Okay, looks like we're only gonna get probably up to Misty done this episode. Ah, Metal Sound missed, of course. That's, um, that's pretty much how it goes, considering... I don't have revives, do I? I'm gonna need to go Pokemon Center again. Mud Sport. I'm just gonna go for two, so I can probably kill him with one Absorb. Like I said, this route is just probably one of the most, like, uh, trainer-heavy routes. It's just, like, a small L-shaped path, basically, to Bill's house. But, just, there's, there's, God, there's, like, more than a dozen trainers scattered throughout the whole thing. Couple optional ones, too, for some reason. Absorb. Take them all in. Consume rocks. Level 15. Moomin power. Oh. Geodude. Uh, you can do it by yourself, Orange. Just get that level up you need. Go to level 17. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. If we are gonna go to Misty... Hmm, I'm thinking now. Sketching Water Pulse would be good. Would be good. But the problem is... What? Well... well Am I even reasonably close enough to get that level? Dang it. To get to level 21 where I'll learn my next sketch. You done me real good, kid. Real good. Because I have a single rare candy, but let's see. Highest level is 17. By the time I'm done here, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'd say, I'd, I'd say Misty, just focus on getting rid of her. There's plenty of op there's there'll be plenty of opportunity to get other moves down the line. We don't really need Water Pulse. Water Pulse is only going to hit me hard because of Stab anyway. It's only 60% power. Confusion chance that will never trigger. We all know it. Okay, um... Send Violet up front. Why did I run in front of him? That's just the TM for secret power anyway. It does not matter. I can't use that. This isn't the slack off playthrough where it where it is abundantly abundantly. Why did I say abundantly? Where it is extremely powerful. No, TMs don't work on Smeargle. Smeargle can't do anything but copy other people's work. That's how they work. They're plagiarists. It down. You're doing it, Violet. You're doing it, girl. Purple power. There we go. Ekans. Um. <sighs> Just send in. It's. I'm gonna get intimidated. Bodefi's down. Can't screech. Just use Moomin's Metal Sound, then switch into uh, Mr. Soul for Thundershock. There we go. Intimidated. Can Special Defense partially fell. There's Poison. May as well switch now, before I get binded. Binded. You mean bound. That's the word you're looking for, and it missed, okay. Mr. Soul is about to level up too, so this is a good opportunity. Since I'm going to need him to be the little high level going up against Misty, because my entire strategy is basically going to be using Metal Sound and using Absorb and Thundershock and hoping they do damage. Probably once for Starmie, I could send out Violet just to get that stun spore. 
I don't think Misty will be too hard. But wait, she's got Recover. That might be a little annoying. Her Starmie has Recover, I think. And I think she can use a Super Potion. Brat. Okay. Mr. Soul, we're level 17. And, well, uh, okay. I'm always never gonna get used to seeing zeros because it's heartbreaking. Aw, oh, darn. Oh, well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. Orinberry. I want to use those as well. Okay. Maybe it's potion antidote time a bit. Where? Just go ahead and use regular potion on you. Maybe super potions are kind of overkill right now, but I'll be needing them very soon, basically. Two trainers left. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Gotta make make the entire team. Get them built up. Youngster Chad. He's Chad. God, Ekans is kind of annoying to fight. Just go for the stun spore, I guess. Ah ha ha, I can never just hit. Spray the yellow powder all over him. And now I can't escape. Darn it. I was hoping you wouldn't do that. Now I gotta waste a few turns doing this. Well, you probably get a poison on me right away as well. Nope, that's the wrap. Paralyzed, it can't move. Come on, Violet, get that tackle. I mean, critical hit. Why did I say get that tackle? Well, I, well, in this series, it's probably not... That probably makes sense anyway, since tackle can't do anything but miss. Stanley, bite the snake. There it is. That last is probably gonna have like Bell Sprout and Oddish. I don't really have the best stuff for them. Shrew. The Shrew. Use Metal Sound with Moomin. Then switch into Orange for Absorb. Take that, Shrew. Alright, you gotta sand attack me now. Don't get sand in my pots and pans. How does sound-based attacks miss? Alright, it's time to switch. Hmm. May as well just power through the next girl. Because she's the last trainer. No reason to run back to the Pokemon Center now. Just have to use regular moves like tap all my tackles and scratch to get through her grass Pokemon. Yeah. Go away, little shrew. Alright, he's down. Youngster Chad. I knew I'd lose, too. Get out of here, little Chad. If your Pokemon gets confused, switch it out. That's a good tactic. Well, that's the problem I don't have as a Smeargle owner. Bluckberry. Completely useless and worthless. Worthless. Alright. Um, let's just, uh... Just use Scratch with Mr. Soul, honestly. Let's get through this. My friend is mini cute Pokemon. Those two over there aren't like a double battle couple. They're just a regular NPCs. Last Haley would like to fight. Oddish! Alright. Bo Deffy's fainted, so I can't use him for Screech setup. Absorb. That's not going to do much, at least. 
Just power through, Mr. Soul. Once we get the SS ticket from Bill... Well, actually, I don't have to fight Misty. What am I thinking? The trigger for getting... For, the trigger for leaving Cerulean City is, is meeting Bill, not beating Misty. I always forget that. But I know that for a fact. Because in a lot of my, like, my Ditto and Slack Off videos, like, I took that into, I believe I took that into account. Like, if Misty was too hard for one of those, so I just went on ahead and came back to Misty later, because the trigger is Bill. I remember, I remember, I remember that, because people kept getting mad at me, saying Misty is the trigger for mo getting the police officer to move. So therefore, I must have cheated. You dirty cheater. No, you, the reason you have to go back and beat Misty is because you can't use Cut without her gym badge, so you can't get into Surge's gym, which means you can't, uh... Wait, come to think of it... So, let's see, what is... Does, does speeding Surge even have any triggers? Because, like, his badge only lets you use Fly, so technically you could just ignore Lieutenant Surge and go straight through Rock Tunnel, couldn't you? You just never do that, though. All right, Pidgey. Well, I can Thundershock this Pidgey. Mr. Soul is reaping all the rewards. Ignore Misty. Cuz, I'm thinking now, what other water moves can I even get? I can't sketch Surf off of anybody, or Waterfall for that matter. Like, only time I can think I could sketch a water move would be off of like Lorelei or something. The wild Pokemon in, like, Seafoam Islands, maybe? But they'd probably give me, like, Buttle... Buttle Beam. <laughs> Bubble Beam. Water Pulse... Meh, maybe I should... Maybe I should just skip Misty this episode. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. Call me Bill. True Blue Pokemaniac. I'm not joshing you, lady. I'll screw up an experiment. How about it? Help me out. Wait till I get inside a teleporter when I do my PC and run the cell storage system. Whatever the kajiggers. Initiate the teleporter cell separator. Why do you just have this in your in your cottage up here, buddy? So what's in the other one? Is there like is there like mounds of Clefairy flesh just on the ground there? You won't let me look. Yeah, yeehaw! Thanks, lady, I owe you one. So you come to see my Pokemon. You didn't? That's a bummer. I've seen thank you. Take this! Is what he says, basically. Cruise ship and SSAN. Yada, yada, yada. Give me the stuff. Hmm. Up, 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 up. Just go ahead and do that to me. Too lazy to open my bag. Cerulean City. Alright, now you're out of the way. Because if I put off Misty for just a little bit, I could get Water Pulse on somebody. And I know people are gonna say recover, but if you. That doesn't. That never helps. That never helps on a Pokemon like Smeargle. Because you use Recover, and what do you do? You get hit, and then you're back to where you were during the turn you spent recovering. It's not worth it. A lot of people were also asked why I didn't use the move Slack Off in the Slack Off playthrough. It's like, I didn't even think I needed to address it. Because it's like, Slack Off has Truant. You use Slack Off to heal your health. Then next turn, you can't do anything, so your opponent gets to hit you two turns. And so what's the point of even healing? There isn't any. Also, I should have checked what my team, who I had up front. Now Mr. Soul's gonna get hit. Oh boy, we got a massacre happening. This is not good. I didn't realize he had him a chop, I forgot. I thought he just had like drowsy. Go for the screech. Screech, little buddy, screech. All right, so we'll just leave Misty alone. I'll come back to her maybe. We'll do Misty like next episode or something once I have Sketch on somebody else. Come to think of it, yeah. Vermilion, the road to Vermilion City is gonna have a few, uh, 
bumps of annoying trainers to go through as well, but I can skip a lot of them this time at least. Yeah, I'm going down. Yeah, 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 whatever. Rub it in, Mr. Machop. Send in Stan, use Hyper Fang. The SS Anne also has quite a few trainers I need to beat up as well, but... Kind of annoying. Yeah, this whole... This kind of... The Cerulean and Vermilion City sections are, are really NPC trainer heavy, aren't they? Change Pokemon. I think I'll just send in Moomin here. And use Metal Sound for a bit. Oh, wait, no. Mr. Soul is dead. Let's just use Tackle, then. But I guess I will have to... You know what I'm thinking? Here's what I'm thinking. What should I do? Because Vermilion City is where I get the Versus Seeker. The, the Versus Seeker is a good item. That'll, that I can use that to get certain moves off of some Pokemon when I'm not strong enough. Like, uh... Blah, 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 blah. There's Hypnosis. The Versus Seeker will also be good for grinding at certain points if I need to. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just grab a few of the items on the SSN and just only do my rival battle... Because honestly, like, if I'm gonna spend all that time fighting the trainers on board, there's not really any good moves to sketch off of them either. Maybe I should just, just for the sake of like, you know, not have not be not having that part of the game be such a drag, because it kind of is. Yeah. Uh, just just for the sake of moving on, because it'd be faster. Because instead of fighting like twenty trainers on the SSN. I could just fight five with the Versus Seeker, and I'd probably get more more experience because of the higher levels. Plus, there's that route to the right of Vermilion. God dang, I'm gonna need to switch again because I gotta sleep. I'm wondering. I'm sure people will express their opinion. Because the SSN is a bit tedious. Because the idea of the SSN is that you don't know where to go on it when you're first there. So you're just wandering from room to room trying to figure it out. But if you know where you're going, you can just skip everything on that ship and just do the rival battle. Level 17. Stop, I give up. I'll leave quietly. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Okay, I'll return the TM. TM 28. Better get moving. I got the TM back, but it's mine now. I'm not giving it to you. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what could I get my hands on? Diglett's Cave. I could probably get the move Dig. Because, like, right now the goal should be to just continue to beat trainers until everybody gets their next sketch at level 21. And the SSN, honestly, would I don't think the SSN is going to be necessary for that. The trainers on that are kind of just... Bleh. They don't have any moves. It's just sailors and more youngsters with the same Pokemon we've already seen. And there's a Pidgey. Go ahead and kill that right quick, Mr. Soul. Get yourself that level 18. I'd like to end the episode by beating Misty, but... Uh, that water... Like, Water Pulse, man. It might be it might be my best option for a while. If I fight her now, I'm, I'm passing up on the opportunity to get that move, because I don't think we're going to see it for a while. Because otherwise, I'll probably just have to random, find a random Pokemon who will use Water Gun. That's my only water move. Water Pulse isn't the worst. It could be because I can't get Surf. In the Crystal playthrough, I was able to get Surf from a uh, Chuck's uh, Polyrath. But there, there's no Pokemon with Surf, as far as I know. Okay, um, Bodefi. Let's put you up, Rimp Boy. Just 
checking the grass here. No point leaving a Smeargle in the daycare. They'd level up faster by beating the trainers, really. No reason to come in here. We're not gonna leave a Smeargle behind. That kind of defeats the purpose of training them anyway. There's random items here, but they're not very good. We're just gonna ignore them. But we can. There is some. There is a good hidden item we can get here. Let's see. There it is. Okay. A rare can. Now I have two of these, so it'll help get things faster. And there's the citrus berry. Alright, now let's see. That's a bug catcher. He's not going to have any moves to sketch, so we can go ahead and beat him up. Uh, moving up front, because they're going to have Metapods and Kakunas to use Harden. That's always annoying, so just get ready to do that. There aren't many bugs out here. I know a place where you can spend a long time with, with bugs, buddy. Okay... I can't believe this guy's Weedle outlevels me. Really, I shouldn't be worried about losing an opportunity to sketch NPC trainers, because the Versus Seeker is just right up ahead. It's just because I can't rebattle Misty, so I'm gonna lose the chance to, uh... Why did I use Tackle on him after Metal Sounds? Switch to, uh... Switch to Mr. Soul, you idiot. Dang it. So much for the plan. At least that Weedle will go down. No problem at all. Small amount of experience, though. Caterpie. Okay, let's send in Bodefi for that. We'll just use Screech and Tackle with him. Bodefi was fainted for a little bit, so he needs to do a little bit of catching up. And once again, out-leveled. This guy should have a Butterfree by now, but he does not, because he is a bad bug catcher. Critical hit. String shot is annoying. Lowering my speed at this stage is just annoying and nothing else. It doesn't help you, you dumb little caterpillar. There we go, level 15. Oh, three zeros. Another Weedle. All right, just screech it. Just screech it. Just screech it. <laughs> Dang. I want to believe in you guys, but the stats don't lie. I've made terrible mistakes. Six mistakes, to be exact. And they're the only things I can use now. Okay, now what can I do up ahead? I'm just trying to think here. Basically, all I can do is ram myself into the trainers for... Oh, hiccups again. God dang it. What is with me today? Ram myself into the trainers until I get my second... Or my next... My third sketches. God dang it. Words. Hard. They're difficult. Buy me a dictionary. Player defeated bug catcher Kago. No, you're kidding. All right. Let's go ahead and heal up. Um... Might be- t I, I'd say maybe I should call the episode here. So we still got a bit of things to do. I would like- it, ending it on the Misty Battle would- is- is, is uh, entice- an enticing idea. But again, it, I'd just be 
it's not worth it. Just leave her alone for a bit. It'll be e I'll make it easier for myself later, and I'll be able to get Water Pulse on maybe one or two Smeargles. Just go ahead and use Super Potion. All right, but we made some progress, definitely. And we've been going for an hour and a half. I'd say this is a good, good, good amount of length episode. I'll be able to get it maybe uploaded tonight in this case. But anyways, I'm having fun with this. It's still fun. It's just, um, yeah, every time I get to Cerulean and Vermilion City, I do kind of realize how, like, uh, you just gotta, you just gotta go through a few dozen trainers at that point before you can really get anywhere. But as the game picks up, we're gonna be, uh, once we get the Versus Seeker, I think we'll be able to level up a bit faster. I have those two rare candies to help get Smeargles to the third sketch next time. And I got some items. The Citrus Berry and Orin Berries, I can use those on, like, Misty or Surge when we get to that point. Maybe going for Thunderbolt on Surge eventually wouldn't be a bad idea. Whoever has the most attack, we can give Dig next time. But anyways... That's going to be it for now. Thank you all for watching, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.